हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट एस कंटिन्यू फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स टॉपिक्स ओके दिस इज़ द फोर्टीन वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन इन दिस वीडियो अगेन वी विल कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग द गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स विच वी हैड स्टार्टेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू प्लीज गो बैक एंड यू नो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट वीडियो इट सेल्फ देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड uh so let us continue uh till the previous video we have seen uh, five different kinds of government bonds now let us uh, look at the sixth one so they are bonds with call or put options okay so options i have already explained to you the meaning of call option and put option uh what exactly are those we'll see here so call option basically it is a option to buy back okay so it is an option it is a right exercisable by the issuer of the bond so basically if the government is issuing a call option bond so basically government has the right to call back the bond before maturity okay before maturity government can call the bond and it can purchase back the bond at par meaning at face value okay at par also i have explained to you so uh, government has that option similarly for put option it is the option to sell and the sell option will be with the investors okay so for example if some investor has purchased a bond okay of say face value rupees 1000 from the government now the investor wants to uh, for example this bond is for 10 years but after 5 years the investor wants to put this back okay put the bond so it has the put option and it can sell the government back even after 5 years it can redeem the bond after 5 years also with the put option and the government will have to pay the face value okay so that is the put option in india both call and put option bonds were issued by rbi on behalf of government of india in 2002 so both of them uh, have been issued in india okay so it is not something which is just theoretical but practically also this has been done in our country we will uh, study the put and call options in more details uh, you know when we will start uh, the equity markets okay so we will study the options in more detail there but i hope you have understood the meaning call means the issuer of the security can call back the security and put option meaning the investor in the security can sell the uh, security before maturity at face value so that is the meaning now let us look at the seventh type of security uh, seventh type of government bonds which are special securities now special securities are for some special purpose okay so different types of special securities issued in india are oil bonds so government of india has issued oil bonds to the oil companies like for example iocl and you know bpcl hpcl etc so government can issue oil bonds to oil companies then fertilizer bonds have been issued to fertilizer companies and food bonds have been issued to food corporation of india so these are different types of bonds for some specific purpose now what is the purpose of this special securities special bonds they are in lieu of cash subsidies in lieu means instead of okay instead of giving cash subsidies to these companies so for example government is giving some subsidy to fertilizer company some subsidies to you know food corporation of india on food and also some subsidy to oil companies then instead of giving them cash subsidies government is giving them these securities these bonds okay so they ask them that you please hold these bonds and uh, you know uh, in future we will pay you back so instead of giving cash now they are giving them the securities usually these securities are long dated bonds okay so they have maturity value you know longer maturity value maybe 30 years or 40 years and have higher coupon rate over the yield of dated securities of same maturity so obviously if these companies are accepting these bonds instead of cash so they will obviously want more uh, yield more coupon rate otherwise they can invest simply in you know other uh, securities why they will uh, uh, accept these bonds from the government so uh, because the government is compensating them instead of cash the government pays them a little bit higher coupon rate so this coupon rate are higher than the comparable than the coupon rate of the comparable securities of same maturity for example there is a normal bond of maturity 30 years and the coupon rate is 5% for this then for this if this security is also uh, you know 30 years so here the rate will be may say be 5. Point, uh, maybe 5.5% so so it will be a little bit higher 
and this is comparable bonds okay this is also 30 years this is also 30 years now this special security also includes the bank recapitalization bonds which were issued to public sector banks in 2018 okay in order to improve the health of public sector banks the finance minister had announced this bank recap bonds and uh, they, they are also included in the category of special securities now the state government also they have issued special securities under the uday yojana so uday is ujwal discom assurance yojana uh, these are the bonds for operationalization and financial turnaround of discoms discoms are basically the पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनी ओके जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन करती है पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज बेसिकली हाउ सो देर इज वन पावर जनरेशन कंपनी ओके पावर जनरेशन कंपनी देर इज वन पावर स्टोरेज कंपनी एंड देर इज वन पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनी ओके यूजअली दिस इज हाउ द इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ पावर हैपन्स सो देर आर कंपनीज विच विल जनरेट पावर ओके then there are companies which will which will purchase this power from the power generating and they will store it and there are companies which will distribute this power from this power storage companies to the to the public okay to the cities to urban areas to rural areas to factories to agriculture etc so uh, this power distribution companies they were in great loss uh, in many states okay in almost all the states so in order to have a financial turn around the state government have issued uday bonds okay uh, uh, for this to raise money for these companies so they are no, so these are also under the special securities then the eighth type is strips so strips the full form of strips is it is an acronym uh, the full form of strips is separate trading of registered interest and principal securities okay uh, this is uh, this i will explain to you how it happens so basically what happens if say for example there is a bond okay if there is a bond it is say uh, you know 10 year bond so it has 10 coupons right it has 10 coupons so what government does it will strip this bond strip this bond means break this bond so it will break the bond into 11 securities now so this 11 securities meaning what this 10 coupon payments okay this 10 coupon payment and one principal payment so now instead of having this one bond with 10 coupons it will convert it into 11 securities 11 bonds okay i will explain to you how it is with an example this process is known as stripping process okay this process is known as stripping process let us look at the example for example there is a 3 year coupon bond paying coupon every 6 months so if there is a coupon if there is a bond which is a 3 year maturity bond and it is paying coupon every 6 months so every 6 month there is a coupon payment so let us look at this timeline for example the bond is issued today so this is the period, this is the zero month then after 6 month okay after 6 month one one coupon payment will happen here after 12 month another coupon payment will happen then after 18 months another third coupon payment will happen after 24 months fourth coupon after 30 months fifth coupon and after 36 months sixth coupon plus principal so here coupon plus principal will be paid here only coupon 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 and coupon okay so this is how usually it will happen so this is the first year okay this is the second year and this is the third year now how stripping process will happen now in the stripping process instead of this this first coupon okay which was supposed to be paid in first 6 months so now this will become one security okay this is one security of maturity 6 months okay and the face value will be the coupon for example if the coupon is 10 10 rupees okay this is a 10 rupees coupon 10 rupees coupon 10 rupees coupon 10 rupees 10 rupees and 10 rupees and the principal is say rupees 100 so the this will be a 10 rupees security for of maturity 6 months then this will be another security of maturity 12 months again face value 10 then the third uh, third security will be again of 10 rupees of maturity 18 months similarly the uh, 10 rupees uh, security of maturity 24 months then maturity 30 months 10 rupees then at the 36 month it will be at one one security will be 10 rupees another security will be 100 rupees so now this one coupon this one bond with six coupon payments of 3 years is now stripped is divided into a total seven different securities 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and all of them are traded separately okay so essentially 
essentially if you see all these different securities which are generated these are the zero coupon bonds right these are zero coupon bonds because the because the face value of this is 10 okay and the price at which it will be uh, offered will also be 10 so these are all zero coupon securities now what is the benefit of this it gives flexibility to investors okay so for example if there is an investor who cannot buy the bond for entire three years but he or she wants to invest only for six months so and he is interested in this particular security so he can invest you know rupees 10 uh, uh, you know for first six months so uh, or you know and then another investment he wants to make say for example for 18 months so he can invest for 18 months horizon also so this gives him the flexibility to invest for different time horizons as well as the different amounts also right so uh, essentially one government bond is stripped into multiple zero coupon bonds right so this is the process of stripping so just uh, try to remember two things here one is that stripping is a process of separating the coupon payment and principal payment from the same security and it is essentially a zero coupon bond and it is done by rbi okay rbi does it for government securities then the next type that i want to discuss with you is a sovereign gold bond okay we have uh, uh, read this again and again in the news also sovereign gold bonds so sovereign gold bonds means what these are the bonds the prices of which are linked to commodity called gold so gold prices uh, the prices of these bonds are linked to the gold prices okay so for example if today the gold price for one gram is say rupees 5000 okay for example one gram gold is rupees 5000 so if there is one sovereign gold bond which is equivalent to one gram so it will be sold at rupees 5000 now say after one year one gram of gold the value becomes say 5500 okay 5500 so after one year if you go and sell this bond you will get 5500 as the value of this bond so 500 rupees is the capital gains that you get okay so this you have to keep this in mind now the minimum investment is one gram of gold okay so you have to invest the value in this bond mean equivalent to one gram of gold and maximum that you can invest every year per year is 4 kg so up to value of 4 kg of gold one individual or hindu undivided family can invest and if it is trust universities charitable trust other institutions they can invest up to 20 kg per financial year okay this is the limit that is given by the set by the government now there is also fixed interest rate of 2.5 percent which is paid half yearly so every half year every six month you will get 1.25 percent this is the annual interest rate every every half year you will also receive 1.25 percent as interest so apart from the capital gains possible capital gains because of increase in gold price you will also receive a 1.25 percent interest rate okay per uh, per six months and 2.5 percent per annum so interest rate is also paid on this now redemption price so redemption meaning for example if a sovereign gold bond is of five years so at the time of redemption at the time of redemption you will get the price which is the simple average of closing price of last three business days of 999 purity gold okay so 999 purity gold ka jo price hoga pichle teen business transaction days mein that is taken for example if you want to sell this sovereign gold bond if you want to redeem the sovereign gold bond on say 12 march okay 2022 so if 12 march 2022 is a sunday okay so they will look at the prices of the last three working days so for example saturday saturday was off suppose this was a holiday so they will look at the prices on friday thursday and wednesday okay so they will look at prices on 10th march 9th march and 8th march what were the closing prices of gold on these three days they will take a simple average of that and then that will be your price that you will receive okay so this is how the redemption price is calculated now in order to curb investment in gold okay so why sovereign gold bond scheme was launched in order to curb investment in actual gold see indians have a lot of investment in gold they have a habit to invest in gold okay and uh, you know uh, people invest in gold because of uh, you know inflation now why that i will explain to you 
why in, how inflation uh, you know how this vicious cycle of inflation results into more and more investment in gold okay so let us look at this so for example if there is in high inflation in the economy now high inflation meaning the real interest rates are fall so the real value of money is low so real interest rate will reduce okay so basically see real interest rates real interest rates are basically your nominal interest rates minus inflation okay so if inflation is high real interest rates will reduce it will go down so because of inflation the real interest rate fall now because the real interest rate fall people don't invest in bonds okay people will not invest in bonds people will not put their money in bank account so they will invest in gold abhi somewhere they have to save so they will invest in gold now india is not a gold producing country so it imports gold so the gold imports will go up okay gold imports will rise now gold is a part of commodity so since we are importing more and more gold our trade deficit will increase trade deficit increasing meaning our current account deficit will also increase this we will study trade deficit current account deficit in the next lesson in the balance of payment and foreign trade but for a moment let us uh, understand this that when the gold imports increases or any kind of import increases our deficit increases trade deficit increases trade deficit increases meaning our current account deficit increases if current account deficit increases then our rupee will depreciate okay see the simple meaning is if we are importing gold then you know we want more and more dollars to purchase them because in foreign markets we cannot buy things with rupees so we will demand more and more dollar if we if we demand more and more dollar obviously the dollar price will rise dollar price rises means rupee is depreciating if rupee is depreciating that means the crude oil becomes expensive because crude oil also we import only from outside so in rupees term for example if one barrel if one barrel of oil was say 100 dollars and 1 dollar was equal to 70 rupees so in rupee term one barrel is equal to 7000 rupees right but now if the uh, but now if 1 dollar becomes equal to 72 rupees so one barrel will be 7200 rupees okay so it has increased so crude oil price also increases it becomes expensive now if the crude oil price increases that means again inflation will rise in the economy because everything depends on crude oil right transportation logistics everything so if crude oil becomes expensive again inflation will rise again inflation will rise again real interest will fall so this cycle will continue okay this vicious cycle will continue now in order to break this chain the government is curbing gold imports okay it is discouraging people to invest in actual gold and invest in sovereign gold bonds so that the money remains in the local economy okay the sovereign gold bonds money will remain in the domestic economy it will go to the government okay which is issuing this security so gold imports will not rise and this vicious cycle will be broken i hope you have understood the reason behind why sovereign gold bond scheme was brought how it operates okay so uh, we will stop here and we will uh, continue discussing about government bonds in one more lecture uh, in one more video uh, thank you